Hello everyone, welcome to Web3 Place Academy for Civil Services and I welcome you all to the learning series by News in Focus. Today's topic of discussion is MPLAD e Sakchi mobile application. Something very important which called for more transparency in terms of working through the MPLAD fund. There have been a lot more issues that were reported with regards to MPLAD fund in context of transparency and overall implementations of the policy. So this particular mobile application, which is eSakchi, will call for more transparency, more efficiency in terms of the total fund allocation. We'll see the detail, how this is going to help, specifically for the member of parliament. So let's get started and understand about the eSakchi mobile applications. So recently, the Ministry of Statical and Program Implementation, better known as MOSPI, has actually launched MPLAT e Sakchi mobile applications for the revised fund that will flow in procedures under the MPLAT scheme. So this is the fund which is actually under the operational capacity of the Ministry of Statical and Program Implementation or MPLAT ki agar baat kare, I'll be giving you a detail about this particular fund at the, at the conclusion of this video. But just to give you, it's a very important fund for a member of parliament to call for a holistic development of the specific region where he is being elected. So we'll see the detail to that. First, let's understand what is this application all about and what is the objective of it. So first, coming with the objective, the objective of MPLAT scheme is to enable the member of parliament to recommend the work for a developmental nature. Emphasis is given on the creation of durability of the community assets based on the local felt need. It is something which do take in the importance of the fact that the regional issues, the local issues must be taken into consideration for any development work which is there. Now, under the upgraded guideline which is there under the MPLAT scheme, it aims to expand the overall scope, allowing the member of parliament to recommend the developmental project that is aligned with the evolving community needs. So certain communities, certain region might have certain priorities that has to be set by the member of parliament in close coordinations with the district authorities and even informing the concerned authorities. Additionally, this mobile applications will actually promote transparency by providing MPs with instant update on the status and progress of the proposed project. So now it will be on a handy, it will be feasible for the member of parliament to have a real time status and tracking details of each and every project that has been assigned and actually been allocated under the MPLAT fund. Now, what is the benefit of this app? See, first and foremost, this mobile app will have a convenience for the accessibility that will allow a member of parliament to promote and even to propose, track and oversee the project at the fingertips. How? Because this mobile applications will give all sort of details that is essentially required to gather the informations, to check into the real time status and updated information regarding the concerned project. Now, this will provide a real time access to enhance decision making process, enabling a swift responses to emerging needs and issue which is there. And last but not the least, the applications will streamline the communications between MP, the relevant authority, it might be the district authority, it might be the concerned authority or various secretariat at the, at the state secretariat which is operational, function, the facilitating a more efficient change of information. So this is how it will operate and provide a due process and advantages for an implementation and even more convenient to a member of parliament. Now, briefly giving you the details about the MPLAD fund as we are discussing uh, the app which is there. Now, this is something which will help uh, the particular scheme. So, what is this scheme all about? MPLAD fund is a plan scheme fully funded by the government of India. And this fund has been entitled to each MP with a total corpus of uh, 5 crore in a, in a constituency which is given. The MP is recommended every year. Her sal ke liye fund allocate ki jati hai. The cost uh, is at least 15% with the MP lad entitled for one year with inhabited with a part of scheduled caste. A population 7.5% inhabited with a scheduled tribe. So, this particular area may itne proportionate of total fund ki utilizations karne ki mandate di gayi hai. The Lok Sabha can recommend work with the constituencies or jo elected member hote hai Rajya Sabha ke. They can recommend the work within the state of the elections, right? Or the nominated members both from the Rajya Sabha or from the Lok Sabha, 
they have the power they have the prerogative to recommend the work anywhere in the country so this point is important and vital uh, for prelims and many other competitive examination so make sure if any question arises with regards to mp lat fund you have a due uh, conscious about answering and attempting that particular questions so this was all about for a given topic i'll meet you in some of the other important topic relevant from the examination point of view so this was all about for this do like this video if you're not subscribed to our channel do subscribe to it i'll be uh, meeting you with some of the other sessions relevant from the examination point of view for time being i'm signing off thank you so much for watching thank you for staying